One of the themes at the annual Conservative Political Action Conference, where former President Trump will speak today, is cancel culture. Undoubtedly, you've heard the term lately. Some view it as a modern means of holding people accountable for their words and actions, no matter how long ago the perceived wrongs were committed. Others say cancel culture is a toxic trend where online mobs seek to silence people they disagree with, from a high school classmate to Abraham Lincoln. Harry Smith takes a look in our Sunday Spotlight. Cancel culture. Think of it as the people's court. Not the show that went on the air in 1981 with Judge Wapner. This is the defendant, Edwin Rodriguez. But a court with millions of jury members ready to render a verdict at a moment's notice. The host of the mega hit, The Bachelor on ABC, was sidelined recently when he failed to condemn a contestant's behavior revealed in a video from her past. In an interview, Harrison spoke out against cancel culture, but has since effusively apologized. Nowadays, the jury is always on duty. Judgment is swift and punishment often harsh. Who you like, what you post can be a minefield of potential danger. Gina Carano, a star of the Mandalorian series, compared hating someone for their political views to the treatment of Jewish people during the Holocaust. The internet blew up and she lost her job. Goya, the food brand whose CEO praised President Trump, was pilloried by his opponents. You make a, a positive comment, all of a sudden that's not acceptable. Senator Al Franken was quickly canceled when photos from a USO tour surfaced along with allegations of impropriety. His apology insufficient, he resigned. Do we want people to be changed or do we want them to stay the same, to freeze in a moment we found on the internet from 12 years ago? More recently, it's Republicans who don't pledge fealty to the former president who risk excommunication. There's basically two things that Liz Cheney has done in the United States Congress. Frustrate the agenda of President Trump and sell out to the forever war machine. It's the uproar part that's most disturbing. There's no room for conversation or difference of opinion or perspective. There's judgment to be sure, but does that always equate with justice? We wonder. To err is human, said the poet and scholar Alexander Pope, Pope, whose disease disfigured body and Catholicism rendered him pretty much canceled in 18th century England, then said, to forgive divine. Perhaps a more measured response is in order. There is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because, man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. That's not activism. That, that's not bringing about change. Stated clearly by a man whose enemies have been trying to cancel him for more than a dozen years. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, New York. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.